Now throughout the course we have done all sort of automation for example creation of a mail item, appointment or contact items or sending these emails one by one. Now we have this excel table and we want to send emails in bulk to all the recipient whose details we have in this excel table. So we have name, we have phone numbers, we have their address and we also have their email address. Okay. So first of all what I need to do is I need to launch the application. So I declare it dim ol as outlook.application and then I'll be requiring ol mail as well. So I declare that as well and then I initialize the application using set ol equals outlook.application. Now I see here that we have 15 rows and in fact 14 rows of data and that row starts from 2. So for i equals 2 to 15 I am putting to cover all the rows because I want to send an email to all these recipients. Now tomorrow you have more data so this 15 should be dynamic and it should not be a hard coded number but 2 which is a starting point you can hard code because you know that the first row would always be the header and your data will always start from second row. So to make the end point dynamic what you can do you can use sheet 1 dot cells rows comma count comma 1 dot end excel up dot row. This will give you the last row till which we have the data in first column. Now we have added a for loop. What we need to do inside the for loop for every recipient we need to create a mail item and then we need to set all the properties and we need to send that mail. So set ol mail equals ol dot create item ol mail item. So inside the loop I am creating a mail item and then I am using a with block on this ol mail to set all the properties for example to cc subject body and display. Okay I am not using dot send here because I am just creating these emails so that I can show you that it opens all the windows with the right configuration. So dot two I can pick from fourth column of that particular row so cells r comma four dot value cc I am let's say hard coding this for all the emails so kamal at the red kamal dot com Subject I am keeping same for all the emails for example promotion letters. Again you can make this as well dynamic by keeping the data in another column for the subjects if you want to have a separate subject for all the emails. Body again I am keeping constant you can also keep that body as a separate column and make it dynamic according to each recipient. And then I am using dot display. Now outside the for loop we can close the application so we can use ol.quit and we can free up the space that we have consumed for these objects. So set ol mail equals nothing and set ol equals nothing. For the time being I am commenting all this because I want to see the all mail items open uh, otherwise I won't be able to see what has happened. So when I run this you would see that it is generating all the emails and you can randomly check couple of these and you would see that it has properly configured to cc subject and email body for all the emails. This is how you can send bulk emails to all your recipients. Now the trick is I have taught you about switching email accounts. I have taught you about adding attachments. I have also taught you about HTML body and the body. I have also covered um, how to read data from a template and then do some modifications in that. So you can use all these concepts in this strategy and you can customize your email for sending bulk emails. Now this is the end of the course. I hope you find it useful and if it was useful for you, please do not forget to give it 5 star rating so that it reaches to the larger audience and also subscribe to my channel on YouTube which is Extreme Automation by Kamal Ghazal. I'll see you with more such content. Thank you. Bye-bye.